J.D. Vance sold his soul to the MAGA movement, and don't take it from me, Donald Trump's VP pick has been hit by a barrage of stories over the past few days from his ex-friends that say he used to be somewhat intelligent, he used to be somewhat empathetic, but he lost all of that when he sold his soul to the MAGA movement. He sold his soul to Donald Trump because he is an opportunist, and it's almost more disgusting to see someone who's intelligent that uses that intelligence to be an opportunist and lunge at the opportunity to be a MAGA sycophant. This article reads, Comedian says J.D. Vance told him Trump was a threat to the U.S. Self-professed liberal redneck comedian Trey Crowder has roasted his fellow hillbilly J.D. Vance, calling him a bootlicker for Donald Trump. Crowder recalled hanging out with Vance back in 2016 where they spent time drinking together and complaining about how dangerous Trump would be for America. Now, this article completely exposes J.D. Vance, but he's already done that himself. He is on the record saying that he is a never-Trumper. He texted his friend back in 2015 that Trump could be America's Hitler. He has said multiple times that he would never support Donald Trump. He has actually perfectly summarized the threat of Donald Trump, but he flipped on his word. I'll finish this article in a second, but really quickly, I want to introduce you to this article. J.D. Vance's transgender ex-friend is confused by his hateful words and sudden pro-Trump beliefs. This is more evidence that J.D. Vance used to be a normal person who had empathy for his friends and that he completely switched when he saw this opportunity. J.D. Vance has a long and storied history of anti-LGBTQ plus beliefs, but his former classmates at Yale University say it wasn't always this way. Donald Trump's official running mate for the November presidential election didn't previously hold such extreme views. In fact, he used to belong to the Never Trump crowd, comprised of Republicans with slightly less conservative social beliefs. This was reflected in his and his wife's support of Sophia Nelson, a former former classmate who happens to be transgender. Nelson recently revealed to the New York Times that they had been friends with Vance while they each attended Yale and that the latter had even been supportive of their transition. Nelson recalled a time shortly after they had undergone top surgery in which Vance brought them home-baked treats as a recovery gift. Again, I think it's even more disgusting when somebody shows that they have empathy. They could be a good person, but they suppress that to bow down to Donald Trump of all people. However, as the years passed and their friend group entered their professions, Nelson noted a stark shift in Vance's beliefs. Their friendship ended in 2021 when the politician voiced support for a bill in Arkansas banning gender banning gender affirming care for minors. Sorry. Quote, it hurt my feelings when he started saying hateful things about trans people, Nelson told the Times. And we have seen this repeated pattern with J.D. Vance where he flips back or he rails against stuff that he previously believed in. For example, he is constantly railing against elite universities saying they are terrible. He will never fund them. He wants to strip funding away from them. He is just following Donald Trump's lead, but he himself went to Yale, which is an elite university, and you can bet your bottom dollar that he will send his kids to an elite university because he understands that that gets them ahead in life. Nelson isn't the only former friend startled by Vance's seeming change of heart. Again, multiple of his friends have exposed him. We still have this other article to read. Josh McLaurin, another classmate, told the paper that he and Vance drifted apart after graduating in 2013 due to Vance's cynical comments about Yale elites. Still, Vance was not so far right, even as Trump first gained prominence in 2016, as McLaurin shared a Facebook message from the now vice president candidate at the time. I go back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical a-hole like Nixon, who wouldn't be that bad and might even prove useful, or that he's America's Hitler, Vance wrote. McLaurin, a Democratic state senator in Georgia, proposed his own theory for Vance has shipped, saying, quote, he realized that the only way he could realize and give effect to his own anger in politics was to identify with the MAGA movement, and that about tracks on to what we've been saying about him jumping at the opportunity to, to elevate his ranks in MAGA was that opportunity. This article about this comedian who exposed him said, quote, y'all, in 2016, Trump rose. I went viral. J.D. Vance's book came out. We got to know each other a little bit. He came to my show, hung out afterwards, went to a bar, Trey Crowder said, the hillbilly comedian. Hillbilly comedian is what he describes himself as. All we talked about the whole time was the existential threat we agreed Trump posed to the American people. While I was not charmed by the man, in fact, it was like pounding beers with a spreadsheet, I did leave there thinking at least there's some sane Republicans left. Maybe J.D. Vance also does 
does the thing that Donald Trump does where he just agrees with whoever he's talking to to try to get in their good graces. For example, when he when Donald Trump called RFK Jr., it seemed like the only thing he knew about RFK Jr. was that he didn't like vaccines, so that's what Donald Trump spent the majority of the phone call talking about, trying to trying to get into J, or RFK Jr.'s good graces. Crowder attacked Vance, turning on his own people and for agreeing to campaign alongside Trump. Um, a man he once called, quote, America's Hitler. Quote, nobody tongue polishes a boot heel like this mother effer, Crowder said about Vance. The only reason any of us know who J.D. Vance is is because he is bought, paid for, and wholly owned by Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel, the bil billionaire whose current pet project is military AI. So yeah, if you thought Dick Cheney and Halliburton was bad, just wait till my boy Jim Dave unleashes his sugar daddy's armada of autonomous murder drones on Gaza. All right, FJD Vance. Well said. Crowder had nailed it. I have not heard anything this pitch perfect in a long time, said co-host Andy Levy. Yeah, it was brilliant, said Danielle Moody. I love this man so much. JD Vance has been repeatedly exposed by people that he used to be close to in a similar way that Donald Trump has been repeatedly repeatedly shunned by people that he recently worked with, like Mike Pence, like Mark Meadows. All of these people that were Donald Trump's allies, they were his ride or dies, then turn his back. The same thing with J.D. Vance. And what does that tell you about the person's character? What does that tell you about somebody's ability to maintain relationships or to stay loyal? I covered this story the other day, but I really quickly want to touch on it again. J.D. Vance left his Venmo public. Here's what it shows. Just to summarize, the Republican VP nominee's Venmo network reveals connections ranging from the architects of Project 2025, some of the highest people up at the Heritage Foundation, to enemies of Donald Trump. Trump and the populist close ties to the very elites he rails against. And that helps me bring home my entire point that J.D. Vance has completely and intentionally reshaped his public image to be somebody who is against the deep state, who rails against the elites, when he, he is completely turning his back on his roots. He went to Yale. He has a lot of elite tech friends. He was a tech bro at one point, but he grew a beard and acts like he is a completely different person, and that is proven repeatedly by his trans friend, for example, who he once supported, and then they had to cut off their relationship because of how pro-Trump he got. And also, this comedian who calls himself a, quote, liberal redneck, and they connected because they were both, quote, hillbillies, also had to cut him off because J.D. Vance turned into a completely different person. You can see the opportunist in J.D. Vance, and it makes sense. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment a blue heart, hit that subscribe button. By the way, go join the Adam Mockler subreddit, go join the Adam Mockler discord, all of the links will be in the description. We are building a great community. The subreddit, for example, has 1,500 people in it, almost, and we talk about Project 2025, we do group research, we collectively make progress on how can we defeat these issues, so it's really fun, it's really important, go join the description, or you can find the links in the description, and have a great day.